The Russian Justice Ministry has announced that it is to classify the St. Petersburg wing of the Soldiers' Mothers' Human Rights Organization as a foreign agent. The organization has publicly accused Russia of sending troops into East Ukraine. The move is the latest against the rights group, which has also been harassed by Russian TV and accused of working for America. The concerted pressure on soldiers' mothers is part of the Kremlin's increasingly implausible strategy of denying Russia invaded and continues to occupy pockets of eastern Ukraine. According to reports from Radio Free Europe, the head of the Soldiers' Mothers Committee from the Budinovsk branch in Russia's Stavropol region, 73-year-old Ludmila Bogatenkova, has also now been detained on suspicion of fraud. Critics say her detention is another example of intimidation by the Kremlin. But Russia's denials over East Ukraine were exposed last month when a member of Russian President Putin's own Human Rights Council chided the Kremlin for its policy of duplicity and admitted a secret war was underway. Further evidence of Russia's presence is abundant, with several Russian troops taken prisoner in Ukraine in July, something the Kremlin claimed was accidental, despite the troops being arrested 20 kilometers inside Ukraine. One of the leaders of the Kremlin-backed insurgents, Alexander Zakharchenko, has admitted thousands of Russian soldiers, both veterans and serving troops, are fighting alongside insurgents in East Ukraine and providing essential expertise. He claims they are on holiday or on leave from the army and so are not there in their official capacity. The insurgents have said several times they will not adhere to the peace deal struck between Moscow and Kiev in Minsk on September 5th. They insist they will not be returning the borders they occupy back to Ukrainian control. In an admission of their reliance on Russia, they say giving up control of the borders would lead to them being cut off and starved of weapons and ammunition. Circumstantial evidence contradicting the Kremlin's narrative includes attacks on Russian journalists who have attempted to report on Russian nationals killed in Ukraine. A BBC film crew investigating soldiers killed in Russia's undeclared war was also assaulted whilst in Russia in what the BBC described as a coordinated attack. Eyewitness accounts of Russian military columns entering Ukraine from Associated Press, Reuters and Britain's Telegraph and Guardian newspapers have added to a mountain of video footage uploaded to social media which appears to show Russian tank columns inside Ukraine.